So here we are with Mohammed Bilal Ali. It's been long, long, long time overdue. You know, so good to see you, BA. You know, how you been? And just, you know, tell us what's going on. You know, we've heard obviously your big news that you posted, but, you know, just uh, keep us posted, Bilal. What's going on? You know, I've been good. I can't complain. You know, um, a big choice that I had to make, um, of course, taking a step back from boxing. I wouldn't really say retired. I think retired is a very strong word. I'll say I'm taking a break and just going to see what's out there for me, you know. Um, I love boxing. I'm always going to love boxing. And um, it's something that I can never truly stop, you know. But let's see what's out there. You never know, you know, never say never. And people on the outside, you know, just the casual spectators, they don't realize, you know, what's included in a sport of boxing. All the ins and outs, all the, you know, the trials and the tribulations that a boxer goes through. You know, you just, just let us know what's that sometimes like, simply because, you know, you can have, you know, pull outs, you can have things happening which were like an unplanned or unpredicted, you know, that all obviously takes its toll. You know what, I think boxing itself is just, I mean, it's the, it's the number one hardest sport in the world for a reason. You know, I don't think they just talk about the physical side of it. I think they also mean the mental side of it. A lot of people don't really see what's going on behind closed doors. But of course, us as fighters, we know. People that are watching, sitting at home, they wouldn't really understand. But we as fighters, we do. You know, boxing can be a beautiful sport. It can also be a bit of a tough sport also in terms of like what comes with it and everything. But you know what? Overall, it's just not the training, right? People just assume it's no, hard training, training. It, training, exactly, yeah. and dieting, but it's, it, there's so much more I to it. The dieting as well, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still dieting, though. I like to keep, you know, discipline as a, as a human. I think boxing is something that's taught me so much in life, in terms of everything, the way, how to act with people, how to, you know, live your life in a healthy sort of way. I think it's good. Same with what boxing teaches me. My religion also teaching me the same thing. That's why also that's why I love boxing so much because it goes hand to hand. And so. you know, we look forward to very much maybe seeing you in the future in whatever capacity you know you choose to sort of uh, emerge, whether it's a comeback or whether you're going to you know change to something else. But you know, we just can't wait, and it's so good to see you once again after so many years, Bilal Ali. Oh, listen, I'm so happy that I'm doing an interview with you lot again. I remember like my, before my pro debut, you lot were there, you know, from yeah. day one. So I'll never forget that. It's amazing seeing you lot here, seeing some beautiful people here. And like I said, never say never. Yes, I still remember your debut, Brentwood Centre, right? There, there you go, yeah. The, the crowd was incredible. There's so many people, more than 200 people came out to support you directly. So I remember, I remember. Crazy scenes. The support, I can never ever, you know, forget the mo uh, those moments, you know, and I'll always be grateful for them. I miss it, but I'm glad it happened. So it's good. It's good. Fantastic. Well, can't wait to see you again. Bilal Ali. Thank you. Thank you.